the 12 mark question in unit two, it is more difficult than the 12 mark question in unit one, simply because um, in unit one, you're always going to draw your demand and supply diagram for four marks. In unit two, it's much more difficult to interpret exactly um, the diagram that the examiner is looking for. In that being said, um, this, this, uh, the 12 mark question in unit two isn't, a, isn't specifically a diagram question. Um, in a lot of the cases, you can actually pick up all 12 marks without drawing a diagram at all. Um, but um, in every single question, there will be at least four marks on offer. Um, for, for drawing your diagram and, and in, in the vast majority of cases it will be actually exactly four marks. Um, so four marks for your diagram, further two marks available for definitions and again similar to unit one you can be quite um, um, quite quite loose with the terms that you can define. So um, type, types of, types of um, terms that you can define are um, economic growth, unemployment, inflation, demand side policy, interest rates, basically very similar to um, question one with your examples, just any, any key technical terms um, that you've learnt in unit two, you should be fine to, for, to, to drop those in, um, just so long as they're relevant to the question. Um, so two marks, on offer of, uh, two marks on offer for that. And then finally, um, 12 marks on offer for, for your written explanation. So actually, like I said, you can pick up 12 marks um, for your written explanation alone without including your other features, but um, you can well see here, if you've picked up your four marks for your diagram, picked up a further two marks for your um, definitions, then you only need to pick up six marks from your written explanation. That makes life a hell of a lot easier. So let's quickly run you through June 2012. Question number three, it looks like this. I'm essentially exploring the link between um, slowing aggregate demand, the underlying trend rate of growth and unemployment. So. Um, <coughs> Right there, you can see straight away, we've got three key terms to define. Remember, you only need to define two of these. Um, you should never ever have a problem picking out two definitions um, that, that are applicable to your 12 mark question. I mean, alternatively, you could have gone for um, productivity here. That would have tied in quite nicely with your um, with, with, a, with a theme of unemployment. Um, one thing that you do need to be aware of is that um, you won't get additional marks for defining something in, in your 12 mark question that you've already defined on your five mark question. So just, uh, just avoid doing that. Right, um, two marks, definitions, nice and easy. Moving on to your diagram, further four marks available on offer here. So you could go for something like this something like this. I mean, both of these are quite sophisticated, quite technical looking diagrams. I'm not going to labor too extensively on why these diagrams um, kind of explain the question um, for this specific exam paper. I do do that on my website um, where I run you through all of the key questions that may come up and all of the key diagrams that are associated with those key questions. Um, <clears throat> but um, I mean, I think it's more of a, a question of content rather than exam technique. Um, so I'm not going to, to, to look at that here. Um, okay, so say we've picked up two marks for our definitions, picked up four marks for our diagram, and we only need a further six marks out of our 12 marks um, from our written explanation to pick up four marks for this question. So <clears throat> um, written explanation, you want to approach this by uh, by kind of um, answering the question from two angles. You want two separate um, chains of reasoning. In other words, I want. I think the best way to think about this is writing two separate paragraphs. Okay, so um, if the question um, says specifically um, talk about two factors, so a good example of this might be um, explain the effect of the exchange rate on the rate of inflation or explain two factors um, which tie um, which, which tie the exchange rate to the rate of inflation. Obviously, it's quite easy here. You can you can pick out two separate points. So talk about the um, aggregate demand argument. So draw your diagram. Say that um, if the exchange rate rises or falls, this is going to have an effect on aggregate demand, and in turn, this is going to have an effect on inflation. Um, and then the second point, you you could talk about the direct effect on import prices of uh, a fluctuating exchange rate, a rise or a fall in the exchange rate. Okay. <clears throat> Whereas this question is more, is slightly more difficult. Um, it's quite hard to pick out two separate lines of reasoning um, to, to answer this question. But uh, in saying that, you only need to pick up six marks out of the 12, um, assuming that you've got four marks in, it in the other components of this question. So all you really need is three links in the chain of reasoning. 
And if you've got two chains of reasoning, that's, I, I think that's very, very achievable. So um, what I mean by chain of reasoning is that um, you want to start off by talking about kind of referencing whatever's in the question. So in this case, they say, um, if, aggregate demands, if aggregate demand grows more slowly than um, the underlying trend rate of growth, what's going to happen? So I start off my answer by saying, if aggregate demand um, rises more slowly than the underlying trend rate of growth, this is going to happen. And then you would say, so this is going to happen. So this is going to happen. So the net effect on unemployment is going to be this. Okay, that's what I mean by chain of reasoning. And you want to have, try and, uh, try and weave in two discrete points. So my first paragraph looks like this. My second paragraph is um, more of a technical argument looking at the link between um, aggregate demand and productivity. Okay, and actually, I mean, it was possible to pick up 12 marks from either my first paragraph or my, my second paragraph, um, providing that I included um, the right number of chain, um, links in my chain of reasoning. But you only need three in total across both of these paragraphs. So, um, like I said, I think it is very, very achievable um, to, to, to pick up those six marks. I think it's very easy to pick up um, the full 12 marks on offer for this um, kind of explanation type question. Okay, so just to wrap up, always include two definitions, one mark on offer for each of these. Um, after this, remember, always include your diagram. So be creative, be conscientious in the way you're crafting your diagram um, to, to illustrate the point that you're trying to make. Um, so four marks on offer uh, for your diagram. And remember, um, if we've picked up four marks for our diagram, two marks for our definition, then um, you only need to pick up another six marks out of 12 um, for your written definition. And when it comes to your written definition, remember two separate, um, two separate chains of reasoning. And within each of these, you want one sentence um, of evaluation. So almost two separate arguments, which are both um, kind of answering, answering the question, both um, getting to the same point of view, uh, but coming from different, slightly different angles. Um, and then one literally one sentence per chain of reasoning evaluating this. Um, remember, there's not always going to be evaluation marks on offer, um, but you want to include that, that one sentence per chain of reasoning, in, in other words, that one sentence per paragraph um, to make sure, uh, just, just in case, remember there's no negative mark, just in case there are those marks on offer, you're going to pick them up. Thanks very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tutoring videos. Remember that full notes and other resources are available on my tutoring website at idktuition.com. And if you'd like me to cover anything in particular, please leave me a message in the comments below or on Twitter at TomDavies32.